What are you, what are you doing? I'm waiting. Waiting for what? I'm waiting for people. Oh. Oh, really? You're waiting for people? Yeah. Who does that? I do it. Okay. Today, when I'd rather be shaving, yeah. we're going to talk about Facebook Live tips. How to do it well, how to do it right. Oh, okay. Well, let's get rolling. Rolling! Well, today on another scorching episode of I'd Rather Be Shaving, we're going to be talking about a very popular new thing. Popular. Cheers. Facebook Live and day drinking. <laughs> In that order. Anyways, folks, a lot of folks today are doing the Facebook Live thing, and we love that. In fact, we encourage that behavior. Yes. Uh, share. Share your passion, whether it's shaving or small animals. Yeah, if you want to share small animals, hey, free animal. And it's small. size. Anyways, um, we want to help you fine tune what you're doing though. Because a lot of people yeah. just jump right in, which is great. And I think it's probably the best way to start anything pretty much learn on the go. Yeah. Um, but there's some things you can do to improve the quality of, of your products. That's true. And some of you may remember in the past I've done how to do YouTube reviews. I don't remember the title of it exactly. But I, I, I pretty much probably, fine tuned uh, Douglas Smythe's how to do YouTube reviews. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so today we're going to be focusing, and a lot of these actually tips and tricks from that video cross over to this video. Yeah. So we will begin with, well, I guess... Equipment. No, 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 let's do the beginning of the video first, okay. though. Because at the beginning of our show, Matt started off where he was waiting for people. <laughs> and well, I, you know, for those of you who don't know... Waiting for your dough. When you're doing um, live Facebook, you can tag folks. Ooh. Too, and I encourage that you do tag. That's good. Coach. Tag folks. You built an audience. Yeah, it's it's a great way to build an audience because grow. it's kind of sneaky too. You'll get like some type of notification. You won't really read what's going on. You click it, and suddenly you're watching someone shave. Um, oh, so it's sneaky. The sneak attack. Sneak. I've been caught, and a lot of times I'm in the middle of like the grocery store, and I click that real quick, like I'm in line, and suddenly I'm standing there watching some guy shave. And, and then they address you, "Hey, yeah. what's up?" And then now you're like, "Oh, they so you know have I'm to here." Stay. Yeah, I've done that before. Uh, so now I just like don't click on any notifications. But that, but that's just me. I'm a busy man. Now but, I just um, throw my phone in the garbage. But if that works for you, and, and it's a great way to drive an instant audience. Yeah. However, since most people watch Facebook Live replays, not necessarily live, they still watch it, don't wait for anybody. Hold on, Doug. Replay. Do it again. Wait, was that? Just go. Since most people watch Facebook Lives um, on, replay. on replay, there's no... I forgot. I've lost my train of thought. There's no miracle grow. No, audience. since most people, most of your audience will be after the fact, yes. after you've already filmed it. I yes. guarantee. You. So Don't what wait. they're gonna watch is you usually like, usually looking at the screen like this, like really awkwardly. And we get it, but a lot of people won't get it, well, and they might bore the hell out of them, and they're gonna click over to something else. So engage with them immediately. I don't care how you do it. You can actually, if you are really waiting for people. Have something prepared to talk about that doesn't matter if the people are there or yeah. not. Just yeah. so when the people kind of watch icebreaker. it, yeah, watch the replay, you're giving them content. Well, the other thing you can do is, um, if you do a, a regular Facebook Live, you can have an allotted period of time that everyone expects and knows. Maybe it's 10 seconds, maybe it's 30 seconds, where you're like, all right, well, we're just waiting for everyone to get in here. Hey, what's up, Sarah? Nice to see you. Hey, Mark, great to see you in here again. You can kind of do a little bit of a soft intro with people as part of your buildup, and then everyone knows that at maybe 20 seconds in, you start. But so, I think you can do even better than just welcome people, because people typically, generally, will do that anyways. Okay. And I think it's just some, something to grab people, because again, it's about the replay audience that you're going to get the most views. Yeah. Unless you're tagging up the wazoo. Right. Or, unless easy. you coordinate ahead of time, it's like, hey, everyone, tomorrow, at noon, I'm going live. I need you to be on there, okay? Which is another tip. Yeah. In fact, if you know you're going to seed your audience. Yeah. Well, I mean, like flyer for fly. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that. Um, when we used to do the Wet Shavers Roundtable, I would advertise for the week beforehand, like this day on this time, we're going live, and that's how you get people there. Yeah. That was before tagging was a thing. So. That's my second tip. Yeah. Is create a flyer around your event. You have two your tips. live. I know I'm not proud of this, but it gets the job done. Anyways, so those are my two tips right there. Matt has recently done his first Facebook Live. Pop my cherry, guys. It was yesterday or the day before? Uh, it was Black Friday. It was yesterday. Yeah, so 
And I think that's great for this episode, especially because we can get his take on that. Well, Doug, for my take on Facebook Live, um, you guys know I've done a lot of videos behind a professional DSLR camera with professional microphones that are here. Um, but to actually do something in my bathroom, I wasn't like I was nervous. I just actually was unprepared. Anxiety. No, not really. Oh. I, I was just, I had no idea what to do. So I have a little problem with uh, public men's rooms. Just feel a little vulnerable. I happen to be out at the South Florida Wet Shavers meetup. I met up with Jared Stein, the buyer of West Coast Shaving. Great guy, awesome guy. We had some cigars. And I said, hey man, I want to bust into this Facebook Live thing. How do I do it? Like, where do people, they have like a suction cup for their phone. Like, I literally you really did, didn't know. I didn't know. I, I plead ignorance, Your Honor. I plead ignorance. So he said, Matt, no you got to get one of these. And I thought at first it was like a new exercise tool. He had it on him? No, he oh, had okay. it on his phone, which okay. is a lot more smaller than this. A lot more smaller. Yeah, a lot smaller. So he said, Matt, you got to get one of these. It's a pretty cool device. That's what we just used for this intro. And so you can clamp it on. I didn't know what he was doing. So just about anything. So it's got this really nice clamp. I use this on my I towel rack. I have one too, actually. I have one that's got the clip that's like, you know, spring loaded so I can clip it on anything. But right. it's smaller than this one. And then I was able to just hook up my phone like this. And before you knew it, I could position this any angle, anywhere I wanted, and I was getting a live. And yes, there's a timer, guys, because that's my second point. Have an agenda length. and length. You know, even for our shows, guys, we are counting how long the minutes are because we don't want to bore you. And if you're doing Facebook Lives, do the same thing. Either have another timer or clock a watch, a, a clock, anything. But have an agenda. And that brings us to... Mounts. We're still with mounts, folks. No, so okay, aside from fine. this mount, there's a few other ones. I mean, you can buy some for your car as well. I use one that's a suction cup, one that I suction cup to the mirror in my bathroom. But you can check out this one. This one's pretty cool too. Oh, this one. Look at this one. And um, so, I mean, these are just different type of car mobile mounts for a cell phone that work perfectly well in your bathroom. And it's a great way to stabilize the camera in front of you. Yes. Now, moving on. Hold on, hold on, before we get to that. I just I, I just want to touch upon this. Another thing you should have, guys, is either charge up your phone ahead of time or have a battery. <laughs> Give me some of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have a battery, guys. Have a have backup because the, the worst thing you want to do is be doing a Facebook Live and all of a sudden your low power indicator comes up and you, now you're tapping on your phone and you, you're, oh, hold on guys, wait. It's really unprofessional. It could actually end up affecting the live video because if you click your, you know, click out of it. So you start off with the battery already plugged in. Have it already plugged in, but if not, if it's a long video, which really shouldn't be, have a backup power supply. Easy peasy, Japanese. Okay, so most of the time guys are talking, are reviewing a product. They're unboxing something, or they're actually shaving and reviewing something. If that's the case, take one minute. This one minute will set your video apart from so many others. Do some research. Mm -hmm. And it's not deep, in-depth research. Bullet, All I want you to do is use the same phone. No, you don't even have to think about bullet points. Use the same phone. Go to whatever you're reviewing or talking about and just read the sales page. You'll get the sent notes immediately. You'll understand. I've seen so many guys like, I think they're sandal win this. And I'm getting vanilla too, and I'm thinking, there's no vanilla in that set. Like, so they're making it up as they go. So that so adds zero prepared. value. Yeah, it adds zero. You want your people to want to watch you because they're getting something. There's a takeaway. If you're just guessing scent notes, why am I going to watch you? Yeah. So do a little bit of homework. And then with that homework, again, only a minute will make such a difference. Because so many people are just up there flying by the seat of their pants. Yes, it does. Minute man. Anyways. Dry erase markers. These ah. are your best friends. In the bathroom, in the bathroom, on the mirror. Yes, ah. when you're doing your homework assignment, it's only a minute, write down the scent profile right in front of you. It won't obstruct your shave, and it's right there. In fact, no any, one sees it. Any information you want to get on whatever you're talking about, dry erase marker on the mirror. Because when we start rolling, you start blabbing and talking, or you get maybe a little this nervous. This keep you on point. And that's yeah. where your bullet point um, yeah. comes into. You can use bullet points, or you can just write down stuff just to keep you on track. And as it's going, you get your have an agenda of what you're going to talk about. Have an agenda. Yeah. Always have an agenda. Otherwise, you're just riffing. And while that may look good to you and you may have somewhat of an audience, you're going to gain a bigger audience yes. when they know they can go to you to get the information. Yeah. Everyone likes a format. I mean, all the shows you watch have a beginning, a middle, and the end. They have some kind of substance, some kind of story, some kind of point they're trying to get across. And your video should be the same. You know, yesterday's video, I unveiled a brand new razor we're putting out. And so that's part of my shave. And I talked about Thanksgiving. You know, I kind of asked the people some questions. I tried to have some engagement 
another good thing. Try to engage with your audience. Maybe ask, and I see this at the end, you know. Um, actually, a friend of mine said that uh, take 10 minutes at the end and do like a QA. and a you know, sit there and actually be able to mm -hmm. maybe answer some questions about what you just did. Maybe people want to want to find out more. Yes, and that can be, you know, see, I do lives as well. I do one for my car, however. I know oh, that's a know. big no-no for a lot of people, yeah, but I live evil. in a desert, and I'm not too worried about that, and I only take questions at the stoplights. <laughs> It's uh -huh. true. Or I'm in the desert. Um, it's a red light challenge. No, I'm stuck at a red light and that triggers a red light yes, challenge. Yes. All right, let's do this. And you know, and I feel like the great thing about Facebook Lives is... <laughs> is that a burp? Is, uh, excuse me, is... Don't do that. You should always try to, you know, make time to do the Facebook Live right. And then there's a right and wrong way of... I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. The fact of the matter is, I folks... Think that, I think that 5% beer is really starting to affect your brain. It really is. Don't be drunk on camera, guys. <laughs> don't ever be drunk on camera. No one wants to see that. No one wants to see that either. That's another tip But of maybe ours. they do. Maybe they do want to see it. You know, another great tip also is post-its. Oh, post they will keep you on track too because I mean, well, the mirror is fine. It's right there in front of you. Sometimes you'll get off track, especially if you're asking questions or someone's asking questions to you and whatnot. So if you have little post-its behind props like this on this on the tail end, if I had a post-it right here, suddenly I see it and I'm back on topic. So props are great. Post-it notes, dry erase markers, there's mounts. One, what else? Are we there's here? one more thing I really want to mention, and this was actually my dilemma yesterday. Ooh. Children. We love kids. We hate, oh, we love them. <laughs> we love kids. We love kids. Most of us who are normal, our parents out there, but make sure your kids are occupied or with your other spouse or doing something. Because the last thing you want to be doing is you're in the middle of your shave and you got a razor up to your face and oh, you're full yeah. of lather. Good point. And all of a sudden, your daughter walks in screaming and crying and you're sitting there trying to end the live look or try to, oh, this I've is my daughter here. Yes. Son of a, uh, well, I got to get going. So. Have a plan. Yesterday I put on a movie, and as soon as the movie began, I ran to the bathroom and I, I did my shave because I knew that you know my son was going to be occupied for at least a half an hour, forty-five minutes. Plenty of time for the yeah, live just to video. watch his watch his movie, and that was a great plan. So make sure that the kids uh, are managed. <laughs> so what we have is advertise before you go live. Don't wait when you do go live. Jump right. In. Have something that you go into right away. So have a time limit or time limit an agenda. Do some homework on the products you're talking about so there's actually something of relevance, like value. Because no matter what you're doing, it's relevant, but added value is what why people will yeah. go back and watch your do, do a live again. Dry erase markers. Get the right equipment. Right equipment. Right lighting. Notes. Right lighting. Lighting is so key. Yeah. Lighting is very key. Yeah, if your bathroom doesn't have a good light, put a couple like maybe uh, can lights or something in there just to brighten it they up. They make some for phones that will wrap right around the phone. The rings, the light rings, those are really yeah. good and they project well. Um, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is content. Yes, content. That's where is the king. homework comes in. And you know, if you're not good in front of the camera, you're used to be in front of the camera. Practice. Practice. Do a video for yourself and just go back and watch That's it. That's a great thing. You can you're using the same camera, just hit record instead, watch yourself, take some notes, some tips, but uh, more or share it with friends too and get their advice. In fact, your first live video might be a critique. How can I do this better? What do you guys want to see? In the comments, they'll respond. There you and then go. you take our tips and tricks, add that to your next one, and boom. It's going to be awesome. Boom. Epic. Well, you know, we have two minutes left. But and 31 I, seconds, dude. I think we should, I think we should uh, end it early. You're right. High five. Yeah. Because there's nothing better than going out with a bang. All right. Well, why don't we smooth the head down to nothing, stick a pumpkin under its arm, and change the nameplate to Ichabod Crane. <laughs> Rather than dragging on and on and on. Anyways, folks, if you liked or enjoyed today's uh, episode, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell to notify you every time you come out with a new video, which if you haven't already noticed is every Friday. And um, you could possibly win also a cube. That's right. So like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, folks. And we'll be back next week with a new episode of I'd rather be shaving. Cheers. Oh, doogie.